I was watching this great documentary the other day called Game Over, and it really emphasizes something that I've been trying to communicate with people for years. And Game Over is about uh, a Russian uh, chess player who, in 1997, competed against Deep Blue, the IBM supercomputer that was designed from a hardware and a software standpoint uh, to be an infinitely great chess machine. It could think or process 200 million uh, moves per second, right? More than, more than even the Russian chess player or anyone else can. And what was unique about this is really the distinction between a sales process and a sales strategy, or in this place, a chess game strategy and a chess game process. Easily, the computer could, you know, by a million fold, uh, do better than any chess player. That's obvious on the process side. The problem comes with the strategy. Okay, so process is a number of ordered things from start to finish, typically linear, uh, not much heuristic information there. And a lot of salespeople have a process, either consciously or unconsciously. They've come up with a way of going through the sales cycle and either just by having done it a million times or by actually writing it down. And that's probably the top 20%. The top 2 or 3% actually have a sales strategy. This is where they think not only moves ahead, but they look at the whole game board. And you can actually watch this documentary on the internet uh, for free. Uh, you can get it on Netflix. But what happened in this documentary is they made the accusation, the Russian um, chess player, that IBM was using a chess master with the computer. And the revelation here was that if you add it a grandmaster chess player with a machine that can process 200 million moves per second, that's going to have a pretty good chance against even the, you know, the world's best chess player. So this was very insightful. So clearly the best of both worlds is to have a, a well-defined process, but also be able to take a step back and look at the whole game, the whole strategy and figure out what the best way to do it is. This, the process will win often, but not every time. The best strategy will win almost every time.